Welcome back, everybody. We're here with more Keepo in the Age of Wonder Beasts, not of the Wonder Beasts, of Wonder Beasts. I always got to be careful of saying that. But anyway, this is Season 1, Episode 8, Twin Beaks, which is a very fun title. Obviously, David Lynch's Twin Peaks, which is an absolute legendary show. Uh, it has a pretty good movie as well. And the limited series that they did later on on Showtime was actually pretty well done as well. So overall, Twin Peaks is great. You should watch it. Uh, look for something new to watch if you haven't seen it before. But yeah, uh, I wonder if that's in regards to the, the flamingos. Those doesn't Isn't the, the big flamingo that has double heads? I don't, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, uh, so I had a thought. I was thinking, I haven't watched an episode of this show I, it's been about a couple, two, three weeks since I watched episode seven. And I was like thinking, or I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm thinking of the, the mutation thing incorrectly, right? Obviously this is just me theorizing. So don't confirm or deny anything I'm saying. Uh, let's just keep me in the dark as much as possible. But you know, this whole time I'm thinking, you know, animals were mutated into becoming like sentient beings, right? But what if it's the other way around? What if humans became or mutated into animals, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, because they a lot of them really, really exhibit human behavior. Uh, I mean, obviously, if they were to become sentient, that would make sense. But I don't know. Because like Kipo transforming is kind of leading me into that direction right now uh obviously i really don't have like a ton of evidence of this yet it's just kind of me just thinking so i'm very curious to see if that's a direction they went with with the mutations i could be completely wrong we're completely off base on this again i have no basis for this theory really much except for kipo transforming into a, it looks like a jaguar i think i think I, th I said cheetah an episode or two ago but looking at it again at the the pattern it looks more like a jaguar and uh and i was incorrect with charlemagne's uh species uh crap someone told me what charlemagne uh was charlemagne scarlemagne jesus christ uh tell me what scarlemagne was i said baboon that uh, baboon's incorrect uh so many species um i'll uh, next reaction i'll i'll look up again what he is exactly but yeah again if you enjoyed today's reaction uh please remember to like the video if you did enjoy it i would really appreciate that this intro has been too long let's watch scarlamane better hurry just because we're here doesn't mean we have to play nice oh scarlamane's Scar gathering scarlamane's gathering all the the groups together i love this My mute brothers and sisters. this is like the warriors have you ever seen the warriors 70s film about gangs in new york this is what reminds me of this. I love he has a freaking piano! There's a borough girl on the loose! Pardon me, lost my composure there for a moment. Look at that vehicle with the flamingos in the car! years ago that humans, like that borough girl... Interesting. ...kept us locked up in prisons just like this one! Well, now the table... Okay, never mind. Burned. Confirmed. <laughs> they were animals. Wow. First, then mutate it. <laughs> That's so funny. What a coincidence. Make them into an army. An army I can use to build an empire. Mutes on top, humans below. <laughs> this is having a lot of uh a lot of parallels to a lot of dictators. Back to that burrow girl. Whoever brings her to me will be rewarded with a position of power and luxury. Oh, there's Jamak's Ark. Wildest dreams. So, I ask you, do you dream big? Oh, listen to this music. I can't hear you. This is straight out of Warriors. Of the Warriors. Bring me the Almost. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I hope some of you know what the Warriors are. Like I said, a lot of people who watch my channel are a lot younger than me. I'm like borderline almost my late 30s so <laughs> yeah scarlet lane's giving off those dictator vibes right even kind of like magneto from x-men you know that you know mutants are you know he calls it homo superior my dad wants us to head toward a giant pretty much the angle that scarlet lane's taking maybe i'm reading this what a villain so far honestly <laughs> You're right. oh, seems the there seems to be some yeah, tension there still Talk about the dreams. I think 
that was the happiest I've ever been. Oh, oh Benson, my... Dave. Uh, Dave. Yeah. What if I'm never that happy? Again? Oh no, that's so sad and relatable. Okay, I don't know if. Oh uh, God, I forgot the name of the creator of the show. If the Warriors was an inspiration, it's one of my favorite movies. That's unusual. We go our separate ways. Why is that happening exactly? Our deal was I get you back to your people. Yeah. And then Wolf I hasn't really gone into detail about that. They're either safe, warm, and you have this great community of people. I hate most people. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't even met that many people. There's school. I wonder if Wolf is still feeling a type of way no. about what she did. No. With the note. No. No. I do not accept this. Oh no. I will change your mind, Wolf of the Christie the Fourth. You wait and see. Wolf of the Christie the Fourth. Well, <laughs> you don't have a full name, and I need. We're to still work. trying to figure out the name here. A lunchbox. City dump. It's got the same symbol. Look at the nose. The, <laughs> the oh, nose. This is happening. Is it? Is it Dave? Is it really? No. You got the one arm. <laughs> okay, impressive. Alright. This is a big deal. What is it? No! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> oh, man. The comedy on this show is so on point. Ooh, I like how that's animated. Oh, I love that. That was cool how the the trash, the garbage was animated there. Also, it's funny with Kipo having like some sort of mutant gene. A lot of people are like, well, you noticed her skin was pink. Well, I did notice it was pink, but I just thought it was just a stylistic choice because, you know, animated show <laughs> with mutants in it. I didn't think anything of it. Maybe it thought something to do with her being in a burrow for so long. I don't know. Oh my god, are they gonna do a workout routine? One of those like aerobics classes? Something's wrong here. Cause look at the outfit. You're not moving! Yes! No! <laughs> I, I'm not coordinated. I can't do this. I give up. I'll be terrible. Wait, is that it? <laughs> Dave is just doing a lot of winning right now. Hi. They're going through our garbage. What a tw what a twist. <laughs> Wolf, stand down. Mutes aren't friendly. Some of us are, though I don't blame you for being jumpy. We've heard what it's like on the surface. So much fighting. Some of us are. Totally terrifying. So the raccoons don't know what's going on on top. This is Label, and that's Tongue Depressor. Those are Tongue Depressor. Names. Nice. Our names come to us organically. In our first year, our energy bonds. We with... find our names in the trash. trash. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm Kipo. <laughs> Humans, I can't believe it. Just like the posters, except you don't have muscles or guitars or cool big hair. Uh, sorry to disappoint. In Wolf's stream, they had muscles. Oh, I just noticed the legs. <laughs> Balancing. So we can help you. I love the music being played. Is, so we can get extra it fits with the theme of the raccoon so well. We can do it oh my god. Wolf. <laughs> One tour, please. Oh. Music's on point. It's for cheat day. Ooh, cheat day food. What we got? Oh, this is this is all Benson. Benson check it out. Oh. Expired candy. Chocolate. Explosion berry. Explosion berry. Wow, that's Oh no, Benson's going through something. I'm telling you, you, you throw any kind of 80s inspiration into anything, I'm down. I'm a product of the era that I was born in. Alright. Got a crew of raccoons. They're very good at digging through trash. I know what you're trying to do. It's not their fault that they're awesome and show you how communities like burrows are also <laughs> awesome. This worked out that we ran into the raccoons who are burrowed it's underground. It's only a matter of We're not even underground. It's just not no outside. Way. They have it too good down here. Oh, that is just sad. <laughs> hey, where's the DJ? They're so tired. I'm looking at them. <laughs> Come on, man. Here we go. Come on, Vincent. Right, there we go. Let's go. 
go. Squeeze those buns. Let's go. Oh my god. Nice. Let's go. I love it. They're good aerobics instructors. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty great. Great. Try epic. Yeah, he doesn't seem he's not he's he's not feeling it. Oh, look at the detail in the in the rays of light. You see the dust particles. That's a nice touch. Isn't this fun? Not really. I like how we're a uh, Karen Fukuhara channel now between Kipo and Shira. Looking for that lunchbox. Wolf, you're my best friend. Oh. Is it that easy to say goodbye to me? No. Then don't. Hi. Oh, there's the twin beaks. No. Who knows? Who knows we're down here? Or is it just the bird just looking for food in general? <laughs> Turn the music off. Oh. No. No match for Beak Beak, and that's Beak Beak. Once you accept the world as it is and stop hoping for what it could be, you find Oh, I don't like that. But we have to help these raccoons. Yeah, I agree. Noble Kipo. Always wanting to help. Does that mean you've changed your mind about being no. part of a community that... No. We're on the same page about Beak Beak. And if this is one Beak of the Beak. last things we do together, let's make it fun. Beak Beak is huge. Scary. Horrifying. But you have numbers. We're smarter. We can take them. Who's with me? She's right. Me. I'm with her. <laughs> Raise the roof. <laughs> At least tell us where to find Damn. Beak Beak. Legend has it. We must walk past Yoga Yurt. They're pressing a lot. Through the tunnel of sweat. There you will find him. In the pit of despair. <laughs> the tunnel of sweat in the pit of despair. Wonderful titles. The pit of despair? As it is a fat bird on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that Beak Beak is perched on the wire. That's so great. Ooh, do you have a plan? Oh, this show. So clever sometimes. I have a plan, but we're going to need those raccoons. Can you help me with this workout? I love Dave just still has the one big arm. Yeah, of course I'm in. You're like a majestic redwood, TD. But how zen <laughs> would it be to do tr Ah. Ah. <laughs> Have you ever tried running with mirrors? This is actually quite oh, genius of them. Super clever. Oh. I'm impressed. Incorporate what the one thing they really know well into battling Beak Beak. Very smart. Dude, the freaking colors on this show. It's, just, it's so beautiful. Oh! Oh, that's a great shot. Again, I, I I have talked about it before, especially with the turtle. They're so good at showing scale. Follow the light, Beak Beak. Follow. Oh. Oh, here we go. Good idea. <laughs> that's talented. Really a tree? No, but it has the energy. Dude, that's talented. Don't you feel it? Balancing on that like that? Your truth is beautiful, Benson. Thank you for sharing it with me. Your truth is beautiful, Benson. Thank you for sharing it with me. <laughs> Dave with the one arm. Target my delts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a, your delts are the, the one area that need focus, apparently. Oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> You're so much more balanced. Oh no! Grandpa Dave. That was weird. Yeah, thank you. Now hide! <laughs> he dropped the the Zen shtick very quickly. Oh my god, Wolf's having fun! Oh, it's so nice to see her smile. Stop! No! Oh. Come on! Oh, oh, of course you have it. 
Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, she's gonna fully transform? No, she's just gonna be super fast. Dude, I cannot wait to see when she goes feel full mutate full mutation. Ooh. Oh. The action's got such a nice pace. Nice save. No no Dave! No! Dave! Dave's been eaten before. Oh, okay. My man does not go down easy. It literally does not go down easy. <laughs> nice save. No! My dog is right here. Hello. Hi, Clyde. You gonna hang out there? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Clyde distracted me. Our minds had to believe before we could achieve. Sure. Aw. I think this is the I think this is the boost Benson needed. <laughs> I know. That's, that's, what that's it. fine. That's what's great about it. I've been chasing? Yes. yes. You do. I just got it. To earn the cheers. Yes, you do. <laughs> that's so cute. I love what Keepa said there. Like, yeah, it is stupid. That's what makes it fun. I love that. Nothing deep. Ooh, 3D glasses. Oh, maybe got a perch. Oh, dogs! Clyde! Your friends. Oh, look. Those are dogs. I've all Muscular dog. Oh. <laughs> are they that big? Look at the corgi. <laughs> oh, very cool. I did notice that. <laughs> the multiple tails. <laughs> so we gotta remember, everyone's after them. Once we get there, is that really going to be it for us? Oh. Come on, wolf. Wolf has definitely experienced some loss, and I think Wolf is very afraid of getting close. No, burls are stupid. Okay. But I guess if I'm with you, <gasps> it could be fun. Wolf at the Christie the Fourth. That's the Christie the Fourth. I love it. Wolf's going to the burrow. <laughs> oh. If I hate it, I'm leaving. I love that she agreed. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Wolf saw it. <gasps> oh. Shit, I forgot that the mute thing. She doesn't like mutes. I'm trying to tell you about this. I wasn't even thinking about that. Uh, at first, I didn't even know this complicates it. It was like, for poof, what? I'm pretty sure I'm part mute. You're on wow. mute? Wow. I'm still me. <gasps> oh, no. Come on, wolf. wolf talk to me. Oh, uh, why would I didn't even think about that. Jesus, I... Mike. Oh, no. Oh, that's gotta be so heartbreaking. Be okay. She just needs a little time to process. Wolf! Dude, Wolf! I wasn't Stop! even thinking about that, considering it. And it's gone. Now it goes away. <laughs> I mean, you were gonna have to. Jamak. I was just about to talk about Jamak. Yeah. I was gonna say, I was just gonna be like, no, they have everyone after them. And then. You know, everyone being after them and whatnot. And now we, I mean, specifically Jamak, who Jamak personally knows them very well at this point. And yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a cool story arc for Jamak, you know, try to get in the good graces of, you know, his people of the, you know, of the mod frogs and uh, Scarlet in general of capturing, capturing Kipo for uh Scarlamane. That opening was fan like I said, the opening was fantastic. I love Scarlamane's flamingo vehicle. He has like the Cadillac top, pink Cadillac top with the piano and everything. Like how over the top is that? It fits in perfectly, you know, over the top villain with over the top interests. Uh Dan Stevens is absolutely slaying that role. I, I love that they got Dan Stevens for that. It's really cool to hear him uh, do a character like this. But yeah, if you ever seen the the Warriors, which is a 1970s film, you know it's about these gangs in New York that get together in Central Park, and you know there's the one gang who's the top gang. He wants to gather everyone together, you know, and I, I think if I remember correctly, like I said, I know it's one of my favorite movies. I haven't watched it in a long time, but he wants to like, kind of like to bring unity to everybody. And then uh, this is the opening of the movie and someone murders him. And 
they don't know who it is and they the the group uh, the one getting the warriors is you know the blame is pinned on them so if you ever go watch that opening scene with cyrus and the warriors you'll see what i'm uh, i'm talking about how that opening scene in this episode mirror that so much like definitely look it up uh, if you ever get a chance but yeah obviously the big thing in this episode was the the little drama there at the, at the end you know again i can't believe i didn't even consider the fact that you know with wolf's anti-mute stance the fact that her best friend is part mute would probably bring up some conflicting feelings in her uh i wish she would see past it but obviously there's a lot of history wolf's a lot of wolf's history that we don't know about in regards to how why she feels the way she does towards mutes uh so you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm right now i'm kind of like a wait and see I would love for her to look past it, but again, I don't know what she's been through, but she knows Kipo. I, I mean, obviously, I think everything is going to end up working out okay there, but yeah, I mean, that's that's got to be a tough thing. You finally were able to convince her to stay, you know, and then that happens. It's like, you know, the 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 high, that, mo- that, that high moment just was so short-lived and then you know, poor Kipo. And like I was saying earlier, I like how, like, you know, the opening of this reaction, I'm like, maybe the mutation worked the other way. Maybe humans mu- mutated into animals. And then I like how pretty much Scarlet spelled it out for me, you know, saying 200 years, you know, we lived in these cages and whatnot. I love how you brought everyone to the zoo uh, to remind them, like, this is where we started. And we, we are the superior, uh, species now and i and i cite it you know magneto from x-men you know how magneto saw mutants as the superiors at the next point of evolution and humans are you know beneath them and obviously you know again not just magneto but scarlet is channeling a lot of dictators a lot of you know you know genocidal mass murderers in our history uh i mean german nazi germany anybody uh but yeah Super solid episode. I love the raccoons. I like how the, all their names are based off the trash they find. That was a lot of fun. Really fun group of characters. Again, I love how they're into like 80s style aerobics. Uh, the music involved was absolutely wonderful. Uh, again, it's a 10 out of 10 show so far. Uh, for through eight episodes, I'm absolutely adoring it. Again, so the people who recommended this one to me, you nailed it. You really did. But yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Again, if you did enjoy today's reaction, don't forget to like the video. Would really appreciate it. It is obviously a super big help. Uh, now that we've um, watched about eight episodes, I've asked this before, but it was very early on. But now we're eight episodes in. Uh, in terms of uh, your group's of different mutants that we have uh, experienced on the show. Who is your favorite so far through eight episodes? And remember, keep it to eight episodes. The first eight, there are new ones, obviously, further past where we are. Uh, don't bring that up. But through eight episodes so far, who is your favorite? Um, I, the, the Timber Cats are still just fantastic. I love everything about Timber Cats. And I hope we get to see them again. And then the rats were pretty cool as well. Amy, love her. Absolutely adored her in Ratland. But yeah. Uh, Let me know in the comments who your favorite group is. But yeah, folks, have a great one. See you in the next episode. Bye.